Hello and welcome to Narada India English. In a significant move echoing the voices that have resonated since the mid 90s, the Women's Reservation Bill, which serves to reserve 33% of the seats in the Lok Sabha and the state legislative assemblies for women, seems to be gathering momentum again. Initially introduced in the parliament on September 12, 1996, The bill has been a focal point of various governments all sharing the common goal of fostering gender equality in Indian politics. Recent developments suggest that the bill might once again be on the parliamentary agenda. The union cabinet led by Prime Minister Narendra Modi has reportedly approved the women's reservation bill hinting at a possible revival in the special session of parliament which commences this Monday. This information was briefly confirmed by the Union Minister Prahlad Patel in a now deleted post on the social media platform X, blustering the claims of several reports regarding the cabinet's approval. The opposition though hasn't remained silent with the Congress rallying for the bill's passage. Jairam Ramesh, a prominent figure in the party, emphasized that the Congress Working Committee insists on the bill being passed during the special session. although not officially listed in the special sessions agenda it is anticipated to be tabled in the coming days the legislation is viewed as a substantial step towards augmenting women's participation in the decision making processes it addresses the existing underrepresentation of women in indian politics a sector where women currently constitute less than 15% of the lok sabha and even less in numerous state assemblies implementing the bill requires constitutional amendments backed by a majority vote in both parliamentary houses therefore its success hinges on a collaborative consensus amongst the political factions emphasizing the urgency to elevate women's representation in politics here are some historical insights into the women's reservation bill the genesis of women's reservation in india can be traced back to the government of india act of 1935 which allocated 41 seats in provincial legislatures and certain reservations in central legislatures during the last years of british rule women began uniting in all india associations like the women's india association established in 1917 followed by the all india women's conference and the national council of women in india Laura Dudley Jenkins in her analysis of this period notes that these organizations became actively involved in legislative affairs advocating for voting rights and influencing policy changes even though they initially opposed the reservation of seats for women in legislatures despite the rejection of women's reservation during the constituent assembly debates the flame for gender equality in political representation continued to burn fueled by voices such as renuka re and purnima banerji this sentiment was echoed by leaders like sarojini naidu who believed that preferential treatment was an acknowledgement of inferiority an idea contrary to the historical position of women in india fast forward to 1987 A 14 member committee headed by Margaret Alva laid out the national perspective plan for women from 1988 to 2000 proposing significant reforms including seat reservations for women in elected bodies This was followed by the 73rd and the 74th amendment acts cementing one third seat reservations for women in panchayati raj institutions and urban local bodies since its inception in 1996 by the devagowda government the bill has encountered numerous roadblocks however after passing in the rajya sabha in 2010 it has found new life with potential reintroduction in the parliament marking a pivotal role in its journey as india stands on the brink of a significant shift the bjp reiterated its commitment to women's reservation in its 2019 manifesto emphasizing welfare and development for women 
This renewed push for the women's reservation bill now more than ever holds the promise of marking a new era of inclusive and equal representation in Indian politics, fostering a richer and more diverse democratic landscape. For more of such news analysis in English, you can subscribe to our new channel Narada India English by following the link in the description below. Thank you for watching Narada.